Kelly Tsasa and today I'm going to show how to make a drawstring small bag. I use this for yukata. So this is an optional step. I like to finish the raw edges. So on both sides of the long fabric and same with the lining. So you fold it in half and you sew the seam all the way down. It's one centimeter seam allowance. And same with the other side. This is the lining. I put a tag so I measure where I want the tag to be. Here you must leave an opening so we can flip it right side out. So we're gonna mark down the opening and this opening is where we're gonna make the channel so that we can put the uh, ribbon through. So once you've done both sides, you flip it right side out. And you place that inside the lining. So to make the sewing of the channel easier, I iron the edges at the top. So using a sewing gauge or a ruler, it's six centimeters down and use that as a guide to sew all the way around. Depending on the thickness of your ribbon, you'll make the channel width um, how big that you need it. So mine is 1.5 centimeters. So using a safety pin, you thread your ribbon all the way around. And since mine leaves a hole, I cut that part off. So I melt the ends with a lighter or a candle works as well. So melting off the ends only works if it's polyester. If it's a cotton, it will just burn black or even catch fire. So please be careful. So you do the same with the other side, adding the ribbon and the knot. So when you pull the two sides, the bag will open and close. So I'm just showing an example of how much things you can fit in this bag. Feel free to change the measurements to make it bigger or smaller according to your needs. You can also try out different colors or split color designs. If you do use this tutorial, please tag me. I really appreciate it and I like to see your work. If you're interested in purchasing a bag, I do have an online shop. You can message me there. Thank you so much for watching.